that we have the horns, we can use a pair of wings. I picked up some black cardstock from Michael's. I picked up some artificial roses at the dollar store. These have little eyeballs in them. Remove the top of the rose and the leaves to get just the stem. Cut it at the bottom to remove it. Repeat to get two, one for each wing. I went into my felt scraps and I'm gonna cut a small triangle that can fit on a miniature back. Repeat to make two. Take the wires and glue them onto the triangle. I am using a generous amount of hot glue. Then glue the other triangle on top. Take another piece of felt, place the wire on top, fold over the felt and glue it down. Firmly press down the felt around the wire to seal it in. Trim off the excess felt to make the base for our wing. Repeat on the other side. Once dried, they should still have some flexibility since there's wire in there and we can bend them to how we want. I'm gonna go up a few inches and make a really nice bend. And then let's curve this in a little bit. Then I unfold the wing, but I can still see where that bend is. Repeat to make them even. Now we need some feathers. I'm gonna make our feathers using black cardstock. I start by folding the paper over just a little. It's about half an inch. Trim off the excess paper, take the folded paper, and cut it, giving us two different lengths. On the folded edge, cut a very thin line right next to that fold, then go out a little, straight up, and then curve it back over towards the fold. Starting at the top, I make small cuts at an angle just going all the way down. Now this will take a while. The smaller the cuts, the better your feather will look, but you don't wanna go all the way through because then you'll cut your feather in half and that's not much fun. You do wanna go pretty close to the center line, but not too close because if you have more center line, the feather will be a little more sturdy. So it's kind of like a little balancing act here as we cut all these little lines going down the feather. After you've cut your lines, open it up to make a feather. Repeat for the smaller one. So now we have two paper feathers, but we're gonna need a lot more. So this is a good time to turn on Netflix and make a bazillion feathers. I watched The Dark Crystal Age of Resistance like twice because I love it. I love puppets, I love The Dark Crystal, and I think they did such a great job with that series. If you haven't seen it, you totally should because it's amazing, the artwork, the beautiful sets that they build, it's just wow. But if you're scared of puppets, so you know, yeah, okay, I understand. And with an E is also a good show. Waiting for season three to uh, launch on Netflix. Been waiting forever. What's your favorite series right now? Since we're talking about Netflix and all, since we can't do anything else while we're cutting all these little feathers out, this is going to take a while. But thanks to Movie Magic, it's raining feathers. I hope this is enough because this took me like two days. Take the felt, pick out the longest feathers, and begin gluing them on. Depending on how far you let the feathers extend, it's gonna make the wings a lot bigger. I'm using hot glue to attach the paper feathers to the felt, trimming off the ends of the feathers where needed. To try and keep it symmetrical, I'm gonna do both wings at the same time. Add the second feather slightly farther down. Continue going all the way down the side. I'm trying to be careful with the hot glue because it's very visible on anything black. Glue the feathers on in layers so they're nice and full. And you can choose to glue the feathers between the two layers of felt. As I get down to the bottom, I'm using shorter feathers 
not bad. We definitely have some gaps we need to fill in. But so far, so good. Definitely need to fill in right there. And here. Now let's start on a second row using shorter feathers. I'm taking these right up to the line of the wire and trimming them before gluing. Then flip it over and add a few short ones to the back. I have a few feathers left over. We'll think of a craft for those later. Now we need to finish off the top of our wings. So I fold the cardstock and cut it to make a really long feather. Cut the lines at an angle. Take the large feather and glue it right onto the top edge of the wing. And I just wrinkle them up a little bit. Take black elastic and glue it onto that center triangle to make some straps. I'm using hot glue to glue them onto the back. Use some of the leftover feathers to cover it up. I'm going to try this on my Integrity Toys doll. And it works! Whoa, we have some pretty large wings there. And I'm thinking since they have wire in them, we should be able to bend them. Well, a little, kind of, sort of. The paper gets a little wrinkled. Add our Maleficent horns for a little miniature Maleficent cosplay. Now we could add some small horns onto her wings just like we did to the headband, but I'm gonna leave them off so our wings are pretty versatile for other costume ideas. Oops, <laughs> they're kinda heavy. These wings are pretty time consuming to make, but I love that we made every feather out of paper. Change up the colors to make whatever wings you like and enjoy a little paper crafting. Thank you for joining us today while we made paper wings. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at MyFroggyStuff and the Frog Vlog. And you're done. Happy crafting! I got my eyes on you.